Hello guys and welcome back to the Zane Investing. Your cost of borrowing exceeds 140%. Now we must discuss why AMC is once again on the cusp of a borrow fee-induced significant short squeeze and why precisely are people discussing Amazon's acquisition of AMC. Remember, this is really significant news that has been widely publicized and it is being used to explain why AMC's stock price rose yesterday. Nevertheless, is it FUD or the truth? This topic will be discussed in this video. Make sure you liked and commented which like you gave so we may give Meatball a gift for every 100 likes and select one of you for a possible raffle at the end of the month. A major bounce in technology and speculative equities at the start of this year is imminent. In addition to the robust engagement of individual investors in the first two months of this year, this included unprecedented daily inflows of approximately $1.5 billion and a significant level of arbitrage trades aiming to profit from the price differential between AMC, preferred equity units, APE units, and AMC stock. Both the anticipated conversion of APE units into AMC common shares and the reverse stock split were recently approved by an overwhelming majority of shareholders. In addition, an injunction is forthcoming. All of this has been covered in earlier videos, so why is Amazon supposedly attempting to acquire AMC now? Also, they are attempting to eliminate 9,000 positions. Amazon is apparently considering the acquisition of AMC Entertainment and its statewide movie theater chain in order to promote its content and other services. The Intersect revealed that Jeff Bezos, the creator of Amazon, has tasked his team of investment advisors and entertainment executives with studying the possibility of acquiring AMC and its almost 600 theaters in North America, Europe, and the Middle East. An Amazon insider, citing an Intersect report, explained that the e-commerce giant views a potential acquisition of AMC as a way to obtain brick-and-mortar marketing way stations that could be used to promote Amazon Prime movies, as well as cross-sell other Amazon services through the distribution hub. So extremely promising and plausible. So what is the current mainstream? Relating to it, this will give us a better idea of why this report may include potential FUD. Their relocation company is AMC. Yesterday, it increased by 13% after a Substack report stated that Amazon may consider acquiring the movie theater business. Since then, shares of AMC have decreased. Adam Aaron, the CEO of AMC, provided Brian Kelsey with a non-response. Yet there are other analysts who have cast doubt on the likelihood of this happening in the near future. Right. Thus, the stock market is seeing a slight decline today. And again, it is unclear where exactly this is. We know it came from a substack but we do not know where this exact complaint originated. Nevertheless, it also demonstrates how much attention is still focused on the meme realm when people latch on to tiny glimmers. Right. And there is still a substantial amount of short interest, which can lead it to rise. According to the article, Amazon sees a prospective takeover of AMC as a method to acquire brick-and-mortar marketing way stations. What exactly does that look like? They could push Amazon Prime videos within that, and they could provide a variety of other Amazon services through these AMC brick-and-mortar distribution centers, or Amazon may decide to rebrand it at that point. So it appears that people are currently discussing AMC as if it is the central character, as if SimWorld is a potential alternative. Nevertheless, people are speaking. According to other analysts, a potential acquisition is quite unlikely. Tuesday, a Wedbush analyst, Alicia Reese and Michael Pachter wrote, Amazon would likely target cheaper regal theaters if it wished to establish a brick-and-mortar movie presence in the United States. The client cited the cinema chain's large $5 billion debt load. Furthermore, SignWorld. So it is. Examining whether or not Amazon shares were affected by the excitement around the two stocks closely related to AMC, which is a landlord, partner in film technology, and owner of EPR properties. EPR would receive a substantial windfall from the sale of AMC, which boosted AMAC shares by more than 3%. R.G. Milligan, a Raymond James analyst, wrote on Tuesday that it would alleviate concerns for a commercial real estate firm and its tenant, and continue to deplete its cash reserves. Basics aside, it appears to me that this person is attempting to comprehend how much people are grasping at straws in a world 
where there is the possibility of a real estate bust and a technological bust. There are potentially a large number of individuals, such as Walmart, who will eliminate thousands of jobs by automating their existing systems. Right. Reducing the number of employment in which individuals only interact with other people and increasing the number of jobs in which people regulate electronic or technical services that then interact with people or other electronic and technical services. Putting all of this aside, it is a distant glimmer. And none of this should distract you from the data that we'd have been collecting on a daily basis. In the most recent video we released yesterday, we discussed FEDs. We discussed the exact timing of those occurrences. Hence, if you haven't seen it, you should have a look. But most significantly, we must investigate the location of the cost of borrowing because it exceeds 140%. At present, this is 226% as of today's RTX reporting. Again, you can obtain all of information from the description provided below. In addition, this Lux Algo immediately applies to a TradingView free membership. If you desired Lux Algorithm, the buys and sells are listed right here. I'm looking at GameStop. Here, you would have been able to observe the buy indication. Sell signal here. Let's examine AMC to determine whether we would have recognized the purchase signal prior to the acquisition's commotion. The SEC needs to take action. The fact that this will also have an effect on AMC is, however, incredibly significant. Okay, remember that if GME contracts, AMC contracts as well. If you are aware that naked shorts are exposed in Jimmy, then AMC also has grounds to expose shares without having to physically register them and so on. Yet, this is a really significant matter. And in light of this, I will zoom in. We hope you are able to read this. Obviously, guys, just take this with a grain of salt, but I can tell you who I am and how I know that the filing has been delayed at the SEC's request due to discrepancies between the amount of direct registered shares the company was going to report and the amount of shares the company wanted to release. On March 23, we will likely observe this purchase signal a little bit sooner. Now going above those overbought Bollinger Bands as we reach equilibrium. Finally, you can examine Bitcoin, other cryptocurrencies, and whatever else is not a conventional security. Despite USD, we observed a significant buy signal on crypto when it crossed above 27,500, and it is now on the verge of becoming extremely overbought. Bollinger is above 30,000 will of us at 28,000. This will be the focus of the following days. Specifically, I would like to thank all of you who make this program possible. Those of you who have clicked the subscribe button should watch each and every video to its conclusion and never stop commenting on them. I would like to thank you for contributing to the Lunar Platoon. Now, if you wish to join formally, there is a join button below, which is the only way to officially pay to the show and become an official patron on Patreon in order to appear on the end screen once more. I am called Zane. We'll see you in the subsequent video. Goodbye.